it's been a little bit since I put out a video, but I'm here today. And today is a Plaid Brand Ambassador playlist video. And that just means that several of us that are Plaid Brand Ambassadors are getting together to showcase some of the things that you can do with Plaid Brand paints. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm bringing you five different projects today. And yeah, I'm kind of excited about them. My name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. For DIY number one, I'm just going to be taking this antique wax and I'm going to be using it to stain this little mini sled that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm just using a paintbrush to apply it and then I'm going to be using a spare rag to wipe off the excess. And then I'm going to be taking this silver metallic paint and what I'm trying to do is create a vintage rustic sled here. And so I'm just taking this silver paint and I'm going to be using it to paint where the runners would be because back in the day, the runners would have been metal, but this paint, it, it's just not either going over that antique wax very well, but I just don't like the color. I don't really like how it's looking or turning out. So I decide to take some black paint and I'm going to be kind of going around the edges, doing a line down the center to kind of simulate some depth and dimension to these runners. But um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not, I didn't really have an inspiration piece to kind of guide me in how I wanted to paint it. So I'm taking my sanding block, trying to rough it up a little bit, using my distressing ink to kind of add some other color and dimension to it. Overall, it turns out okay, but it's definitely not my favorite part of this project. And I'm probably going to end up going back and kind of retouching it up again because I just, I wanted it to look like real runners and I'm just distressing the rest of the, the sled because I wanted it to look vintage. And then I'm going to be adding some embellishments. It's just a pick that I got from Dollar Tree and I took, I didn't use the jute twine that it came with. I just used this little piece of string because I thought it looked more vintage to me. And so um, I'm just kind of adding that pick and then the embellishments and just a little simple bow to top it off. And this is how it turned out. I like it, but again, because I think it does look vintage, the way that it's stained turned out really well in my opinion. but. Um, I want to go back and fix those runners, but overall, I think it looks pretty cute. This video is part of the Creative Plaid Community Playlist, and I'm joining some other Plaid brand ambassadors to bring this playlist to you today, and I was so excited when they asked me to join. Our main host is Indy Annie Jones, and I'll have a link to her channel in the description box below, as well as a link to all the other the, to the playlist so you can check out all the other videos and part of this playlist is a plaid gift away and so we're going to be giving away some plaid products to some lucky winners so in order to enter you just need to comment below my secret word and that word is awesome Now I'm going to be painting for DIY number two. I'm going to be painting these Christmas trees that I got from Dollar Tree with this antique green paint and at first I was going to try to kind of swoop the paint to give it some texture and dimension, but I end up just going back in and just painting the whole thing. And I'm just hoping that captain's tail doesn't get in the way. I'm going to be taking this gold metallic paint to paint in the stars on top of the trees and just using a little bit. I kind of like how the gold looks, but I'm just not super happy with the green. I just think the green looks kind of flat. So what I do is I take a, my sanding block and I kind of rough it up a little bit. And I don't know, I, I kind of like that look a little bit better, but I think what I want to do is go back in and I know I can't, no, I've said this twice now. I want to go back and kind of fix it again because I need to add some more dimension and maybe add some different colors of green to kind of simulate leaves and, and the branches and stuff like that. Now it's time to string up the beads. And what I've done is I'm taking the jute twine and I'm stringing it through the back of 
the tree and then I'm tying a knot and then I'm stringing it back through. So the knot is kind of holding the, the, the string in place and hopefully, at least the idea is, that hopefully <laughs> the trees will lay straight. But one thing that I did not do, and I'm notorious for not doing it, is I didn't measure. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it, hoping for the best. And so far it seems to be turning out, but at the end when I finish my other project, I'm gonna show you both garlands that I made and you'll kind of see what happened. So jumping into DIY number three, I'm making a snowman garland and I'm just taking these little snowmen that I found at Dollar Tree. My husband had drilled a hole in the hat so that I could use those to hang and I'm just painting the bottom portion of the snowman white. I guess snowman could be other colors, but this snowman's gonna be white. And then I'm adding black paint for the hat And then I'm painting on their little faces, just putting little dots for the eyes using black paint. And see the little face? And then I'm gonna go in with the orange to create a little carrot nose. So now it's time to string these together. And the idea, I was gonna use my tapestry needle and I was going to string the snowballs, these little um, pom-poms, as the snowballs. And I was going to string those, but I could not get the tapestry needle through. So I decided to hot glue the snowballs to the string. And I don't know, it kind of looks, doesn't quite look like how I was hoping for, but you know. So this is a real life reveal. I'm trying to get my hot chocolate Barkhart, Barkhart, Barkhart area ready. Anyway, ignore this part. That's coming later, maybe in another video. But here's how the little, uh, this guy is not supposed to be up there. Captain, get down. Oh my God, he's gonna break something. Get down. Yeah, get down. Get. Okay, back to the reveal. So this is how the two garlands turned out. Now, when I did the little knots, I should have measured a little bit better because as you can see, it's not spaced perfectly. The E needs to be over a little bit. And then the snowballs, I'm not, they didn't turn out how I wanted. I tried to thread it with that tapestry needle. That didn't work. But the, <laughs> the snowmen look cute. I think they look really cute. And so that's how it turned out. I'm not going to leave it here. This was actually meant to go on my tiered tray, or at least the snowman one was going to go on there. And I was thinking about leaving the Mary there. I'm not sure yet because I haven't gotten this area clear. Anyway, focus. Focus on that. There you go. This video is also a part of Corey's mini challenge playlist. I'm going to have a link to Corey's new channel and I hope you go and check it out and subscribe to her. And it'll also have a link to the playlist in the description box below. I always love being a part of this playlist because I love all things mini. So it's just the perfect playlist for me to be a part of. For DIY number four, I'm just taking this wood slice that I got from Hobby Lobby. And y'all know my secret. If you're going to get wood slices from Hobby Lobby, make sure that you go to the his and hers wedding section because every other week they're 50% off and it's a better deal than getting it from the wood pile section. Anyway, I'm painting the center black. And then I'm gonna go in with this white paint and I'm gonna be creating like a little half circle type thing. I'm making a snowman. Well, maybe I shouldn't have told y'all. Maybe I should have let that be a surprise. But anyway, I'm painting the white in the bottom portion to make the snowman's head. Now I've seen that my the head's not quite the shape that I want, so I'm going back in with some black paint to kind of clean that part up and make it look a little more like the shape that I wanted. 
Then I'm taking some orange paint and I'm making a nose. Captain's always got to be at my side. And I'm taking some black paint and adding little buttons for his mouth. I'm taking a paint pen and I'm writing let it snow. It's a little harder to write on this because it is a little bit rough and I didn't sand it quite enough but even if I even in the parts that I did sand it's still kind of rough and so I'm just adding some snowflakes and some dots as to be like snow. And this is how it turned out. Now I'm not trying to be too critical of my work but you can't really see the words let it snow very well so I don't know maybe I shouldn't have maybe I'll go back in and paint <laughs> see I'm trying to fix all of my projects I mean I like how it turned out but I just don't think you can see the let it snow very well so I think I need to fix that and kind of maybe paint over some of those little white dots so you can see it better what do you think let me know in the comments below in case you didn't know, my friend Sarah from Jujube DIY and I have a group on Facebook. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget, and the link is going to be in the description box below. We talk all things craft there, so if you're into crafts, and I guess you are because you're watching my video, be sure and hit, click the link so that you can join our group on Facebook. We'd love to chat and connect with you there. All right, y'all, the final DIY, the finale, DIY number five. I'm taking this terracotta pot and I'm using white paint to paint it, to paint it white, as you can kind of see. So I'm going to be making some Mexican inspired pottery. Now the pottery is called Talavera and it's just typical Mexican pottery. And so what I did was I found some images on, just on the internet. And I'm using those as kind of a guide, as kind of an inspiration piece, if you will, for what I'm going to do. So I tried using that carbon paper. The carbon paper is, it was too, I didn't want to use the carbon paper on the pot because I felt like it would show through too much and not the way that I wanted. So I was just taking this little template. I'm going to have a link to the template in the description box below, just in case you want to kind of play around with it and see how you might want to design yours if you decide to try to do a project similar to this. Anyway, I'm gonna have that in the description box below. I'm just using my phone as reference for my inspiration piece so I know what colors are going where. And I've sketched it on with my pencil so basically at this point I'm just coloring it in like a coloring book. It's not really that hard but I'm not as adept at using a paintbrush and I'm not necessarily a painter, <laughs> but um, I'm learning and that, that's an important part, I'm learning, but I'm just trying to get the colors right and in the right spots. Now I'm going back in and I'm outlining it with the black and this is the part where Man, I feel like I sound critical of myself today, but um, it didn't quite turn out like the inspo piece. But you know, I'm practicing and I'm learning and that's always a good thing. And I'm liking how it's turning out so far. So again, going in and adding some color where it needs to go. At this point, I'm really thinking, you know, this is turning out pretty cute. And I'm really pretty happy with it. My husband said though that I need to make it shiny so I went back in with some Mod Podge to give it a coat because in theory this would have been a fired piece of pottery. I'm not going to fire it so I'm just mimicking that with the Mod Podge so that it looks shiny. And this is how it turned out. So <laughs> maybe my lines aren't the smoothest but I really I think I think it looks like Talavera pottery. I mean it kind of looks like what I was hoping for. So I think the next time I can, I found some things that I might want to do a little bit differently to make it, you know, turn out a little bit better. But for my first attempt at making Talavera pottery, I'm really very, very pleased with myself and how it turned out. I host an open challenge playlist with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY 
every month and it's on the fourth Friday. It's called the fourth Friday open challenge. And if you are a DIY YouTuber and you want to join, just let me know. I'd love to have you join us on this little open playlist challenge. The theme this month is going to be Christmas and I've got some really cute things coming your way. So that's going to be Friday, November 26th at 2 PM Eastern. Thank you all so much for watching my video today. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I really would appreciate it and would help my channel grow. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye!